Yes, beyond his last fight, it is events like this that helps to build such names if he's got the right stuff. I don't know when I've ever seen a fighter so gleefully happy to get into the <laughs> ring and fight. I mean, it, it, the smile just came off of Pacquiao's face within the last 20 seconds or so, but it's been all celebration up to this point. Most guys try to sort of get a game face on for fighting, not Pacquiao. He's here to have a blast. The blow to Ledwaba against the ropes. Sanchez, who drives Pacquiao into the ropes and doubles up the jab and lands a right hand up the middle and fires the jab a couple more times. And a good little rally by Agapito Sanchez. Pacquiao rips Sanchez with a straight left hand. And he's kind of turning it under that time. He was almost a slight uppercut as that one was. He decided to stop the right straight hand and just bring him under the needle a bit. And Pacquiao threw 42 punches. Sanchez threw 84. So a neat statistical anomaly as Sanchez throws the right eye of Pacquiao. Now Pacquiao says he's never been cut before. Got his balance right. He makes you miss and he pays you back. And Sanchez lands a vicious straight left hand on the eye that Pacquiao is having difficulty with. And another left right on the cut. And now Pacquiao begins to cut loose a little bit. Tight out of his right eye. I don't think he can see it all out of the right eye. And that's what Sanchez is taking advantage of right now with his left hand. As I said... because of the high disadvantage at this point for Pacquiao, he can't duck. Right. And very short odds. And now there's a low blow by Sanchez right on Pacquiao's cup. And Marty Denk in the eyelid. How much chance they can actually stop the flow of blood? That's, that's, the, that's what we want to look for, stop the blood. This guy can get his aggression going because that's, they can get that control. You make Sanchez just start protecting himself. You can be right back in control. Pacquiao landed that left uppercut. And now fires a left over the top. He's starting to reach Sanchez a little bit with his punching power. Sanchez very sturdy. Great. Stop. We mentioned Stop. all of those top rated. Featherweights who fought Sanchez, none of them One ever point. knocked him down. One point. One point. One point. Ting Pacquiao's head back. Stop. Horrific combination by Pacquiao. I agree with Larry Merchant 100%. Manny Pacquiao evened that fight up in round three when Marty Decker took the point. The first two rounds, I get back to Peter Sanchez. He was too busy in the first round. They were the better shots. Pacquiao now battling unusual circumstances and the deficit of a big cut over his right eye and trying to adjust. Seems less troubled by it than was the case in round two. Pacquiao, if he comes up with a couple of combinations, I'm telling you, we can see a different fight, fight within no time flat. This is a Pacquiao response, I believe, to a low blow. Great, great. Watch your hands. So now, after...
after four rounds, you can see that on Harold Letterman's card, at least, Manny Pacquiao has moved ahead by the two points, which have been deducted from Agapito Sanchez for fouling. And now Sanchez begins to work to the body and do damage. But once again, he flirts with low blows. Sanchez has hit two low blows already that have not been acknowledged by Dinkins. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You know, he, is a, he wants to do anything to win the fight, but you can't do anything and everything to win a fight. There are rules. Body shots by Pacquiao. In your view, should Sanchez already have been disqualified from this fight? Oh, for a long time, too many low blows. No, not, you're only talking about hurting the fellow, but permanent, permanent damage down there. So in your view, this fight should already have been over with Pacquiao Celebrate. the winner. And I agree with George. The referee just not paid any attention. But this is what... Pacquiao's <laughs> superior hand speed in evidence there. Sanchez comes back with a blistering counter right hand. This is a painful situation for Pacquiao. He's been hit beaten below the belt, and the blood is dripping out of his face. You wonder how he has the energy to keep doing it. He's in tremendous shape, according to trainer. Fr to give Pacquiao credit, he could have found a way to get out of this fight before the end of the fourth round and have it called a no contest. And once again, they clash heads as Sanchez pounds his forehead right into the middle of Pacquiao's face. Now, if the fight were to be stopped here, I suspect Pacquiao is free. Marty Denking, after being told by the physician that the fight could no longer continue due to accidental headbutts suffered by Manny Pacquiao, the bout is halted in the sixth round under the rules in accordance with the international, pardon me, with the uh, World Boxing Organization, the International Boxing Federation, and the American Boxing Commissions, the unified rules. The bout will go to the scorecards for the rounds completed plus the sixth round in which the contest was halted. The scoring is as follows. Ricardo Bay scores the bout 58-54. He has it for Picayo. Marshall Walker scores the bout 57-55. He has it for Sanchez. Raul Caiz Sr. scores the bout 56 56. It is a three-way split. The bout is officially declared a draw. Each champion will retain his title belt. The bout is a draw. Each champion retains his belt.